Hey everyone, David here. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can turn your website into a mobile app. Now we're going to be using Brilliant Directories as an example, reason being that it's already mobile friendly and the website's built on Brilliant Directories already adapt to all mobile devices and tablets, which is what we want when we're converting a website to be used uh, with a mobile app. Now with this, you won't need to manage multiple databases. It's going to be the same database table that powers the main website, which will go ahead and power the data uh, within your mobile app. So your app will always be updated dynamically anytime you update your main website. So you don't need to worry about designing a separate platform for mobile and tablets. Your users are also going to have the same familiar experience on the mobile app as they do on your main website because they're going to be the same essentially. And all in all, Having a mobile friendly website will just save you time, makes this process super easy, and 99% of everything will already be taken care of for you. You just need to add your 1% little touch uh, with the App Builder platforms. So there's a lot of App Builder platforms on the market today, both free and paid. They're all great options and they all pretty much do the same thing with the same general user interface. However, with the free ones, they may force their own ads on uh, within your app, but that's not that bad when you're just getting started or you want to test out your concept. Once you feel more confident uh, in your concept, then going ahead and investing in one of the paid app builders is definitely worth it. So we recommend any of three app building platforms. They're all relatively easy and set up literally only takes a few minutes. So the three app builders are AppyPie, MobinCube, and Como. Now in this example, I'm gonna be using Como.com. It's what we ourselves use at Brilliant Directories and, and what we use for our Brilliant Directories mobile app. But any of the app builders should work uh, just as good, just the same. Now before we get started, I do wanna mention that in order to submit an application to either Apple's App Store or Google's Play Store, you will need to have developer accounts uh, with both companies. Now they're not free, um, but we'll go ahead and provide you with some links so that you can learn and, and get up to speed on how to go ahead and register these developer accounts with both Apple as well as Google. All right, so let's take a look at our website, demobootstrap.com. This is the website that we will be turning into a mobile app. All right, so we'll close out those. And over here in Como, Como.com, we'll click on Como DIY. It'll open a new window and then we'll click the green create app button. Now you don't need to log in or anything initially for this. So we're gonna name our app. We'll just name it um, Brilliant Directories and we'll click next. Uh, we'll skip the Facebook and we will we'll enter in our website address. So demobootstrap.com, click next and then we'll click other next and after a few moments uh, Como will automatically generate a uh, an application for you which we can then go ahead and customize all right so here we have our app that Como automatically generated for us you can see we have um, six app features that Como automatically added in Facebook news video Twitter contact and about so we can go ahead and remove any of these that we don't want and then to go ahead and add our website, we'll add a feature. We'll go to all features. Here you can see all the different uh, features that you can go ahead and add into your app. We'll click web page. We will paste in our URL. And here you go, Brilliant Directories demo. This is our regular demo bootstrap website running within the mobile app. And of course with the menu, menu works just the same. And here within the app menu, you can go ahead and customize this within the style and navigation. And lastly, uh, we can view the app on different platforms. So here is how it would look. This is the about page. If we go to web page, this is what the website will look like on the app within an iPad. We can view it on an Android smartphone, or we could view it on an Android tablet. All 
All right, so there you have it. We built this app uh, literally within five minutes. So that's how easy it is. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, you do need to register developer accounts with both Apple and Google if you want to submit your application to both of their stores. But other than that, it's a really straightforward process. And I wish you the best of luck building your app. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.